Now, I think direct proportional we have understood very well. But we'll come to the next uh, type of relation that is called inverse variation or inverse relationship or inverse proportionality. Here you can write relationship also. No need to confuse. Both are same. But inverse proportionality will be exactly when power will be 1. Just we'll look here. For the two variable again A and B, if A is increasing, we will decrease. A is decreasing, we will increase. But how much? We are not sure. Depends on the type of the variation. If A is inversely proportional to B, then A will be equal to K by B, where K is an inversely proportional constant. If A is inversely proportional to B to the power N, then so many possibility will be there. A equal to K by K by root B square root of B or K by B square. These are all the possibility we have seen already. Now, this is a special case. If N equal to 1, then A will be equal to K by B, A into B equal to constant. Another good point is, for inverse proportionality, it will just come as a product of two quantity. In direct proportionality, we, we have seen A by B is constant, means division is constant. Here, product will be constant. If product is constant, then one more interesting concept uh, coming out. If any two variable, any two variable, if product is constant, then it then related to minima and maxima type of question will be framed like a into b equal to constant then when a plus b again i told this is multiplication this is your division these two will play very very good role during your entire quant preparation if a into b is constant then what will be the value of a plus b or just reverse if a plus b is constant then what will the value of a into b this is another category of questions that we look in during the linear equation. Then here product is constant, a into b equal to constant, then we can say it is a exactly inversely proportional. Inversely proportional. Okay. Means any other constant are not involved. Now, just we'll check the amount of variation. If a is inversely proportional to b, one thing is sure, if a will increase, b will decrease. If a will decrease, b will increase. That will be reverse order. But how much? In this case, if n equal to 1, just we'll try to look. A equal to 20% increasing, B will down 16.67%. If A is decreased by 25%, we will increase by 20%. We can just calculate in simple way. There is not much issue. Just we have to, if uh, if you want to, if you want to calculate in traditional way, you can just write a b equal to constant means a1 b1 equal to a2 b2 now if a is increased by 20 percent then what will happen here it will be a1 here it is b1 it is increased then what will happen or uh, directly a1 you can take it is increased means 1.2 a into b1 equal to how much b should decrease means value of b correct then here this 1.2 find the b1 you have to put this side means it will come to the denominator side then 1 by 1.2 if we will just split in fraction it will come 1 by 6 that is equal to 16.67 percent i think no need to go at that 